soon it's going to be bitterly cold and I don't I don't want to have my boy sitting out at the bus stop. School bus delays blamed on a shortage of drivers. Many are finding out why they've been waiting for the bus as Southland Transportation sends this letter home to parents apologizing for running late. The letter is addressed to French public schools explaining Southland is experiencing a driver coverage challenge affecting some routes and causing kids to be late to school in the morning and many parents late for work and then waiting for their kids to get home after class. Here at Ecole de la Source in the southeast, busing is a second option for this parent. You know, it's not in the forefront of our minds, but it's there. And so we, we understand that until it gets resolved, we're probably better off to just drive them back and forth. In March, bus drivers were required to take the mandatory entry-level training to apply for their commercial driver's license. It was a measure introduced by the former NDP government in response to the deadly Humboldt Broncos crash. In a statement to City News, Southland Transportation says, due to the criteria and short timeline of the MELT program introduction, we could not put any trainees through our program for over a month. This coupled with the lack of driver examiners at the time, put us behind at the end of the last school year. The Transportation Minister's office tells City News school bus drivers can apply for an extension for the mandatory training. They have until July 31st and next year to take the pre-melt knowledge and road test and get their S endorsement training, which is added as safety training for school bus drivers. But some just don't want to wait it out. Probably a couple hundred kids here that do rely on the buses every single day and and their families and themselves are probably concerned with their safety and with the timing. And In Calgary, Crystal Ladiris. Bye, Xavier. City News.